Our film crew was heading to South Island, New Zealand to chase these huge trout which have been reported being caught and living in the canal systems there. Coincidentally, at the same time, we caught up with the Mustad crew and they were really keen when they heard what we were going to do for us to test out the KVD Ultra Point trebles that they've been developing and hooks that have gained a really good reputation overseas. And the plan was to go and retrofit these to hard bodies and see just how they'd stack up against potentially some of the biggest trout on the planet. There's been a lot of scientific studies as to why the trout there grow so big and I've looked at quite a bit of it and I'm still not entirely sure but there's something very cool in the recipe that's going on there and it's it's in the form of a lot of high mountain lakes and they all form a, a chain that are linked by canals as part of their hydro scheme there and it forms this great tail race fishery. There's also salmon farms thrown into the mix and no one knows whether it's part of the protein which comes out of those or the snail populations in the water. Whatever it is, the trout there are very, very big. Kevin Van Dam or KVD is one of the, the best bass fishermen in the overseas tournament circuits and, and what he's done is designed a hook which is meant to produce better hookups and to land more fish. And, and his thinking is to produce a shorter shanked hook and size for size, it's got a wider gape on it as well. So it's not just extremely sharp and very tough, but it's supposed to hold onto those fish that are shaking the head excessively and also jumping. So the retention of hooked fish is supposed to be better. And that's really what we wanted to get out there and test. We got to spend a couple of days targeting these fish in the canals, notoriously tough fish to catch, which is very often the case when fish are big. They're very, very wary, super clear water. The idea was to really look for a reactive style bite. So we went equipped with a bunch of hard bodies and one of the predominant ones I wanted to throw was the Barra X, which has been very, very good in a reactive sense on our Barra Monday. So I figured big fish that are reactive, it might just work on the trout as well case was then to retrofit those lures, take off the big silver barrel style hooks that they come with and put on the KVDs and then just put lots and lots of cast in front of these fish and hopefully get one of them to open their mouth. After so many casts, you almost start second guessing what you're doing. You, you've traveled so far and invested so much time and money in this trip, only to see the occasional fish leave its line, leave you an emotional wreck by following a lure all the way to the bank and then rejecting it. So you start thinking, how do I change this scenario? What, what am I doing with my retrieve? Is it too fast, too slow? Do I pause it? Do I continue it? And then as the sun's starting to set and you start getting despondent thinking, maybe I'm gonna have to come back and try and do this all over again. When you find that one fish that makes a mistake out of nowhere, this monster comes out of the depths and goes, I'm having a piece of that. Now I've twitched up what I think is a really big trout one of the Zeric Hardbody Ranger lures. They came equipped with Barramundi style hooks, but to make sure in the hard mouth of some of these trout and to get rid of some of the silver off the lure, what I did was retrofitted with some of the Mustad Kevin Van Dam Ultra Points. It's done the first job for me. I've got a bit of work to do now. Hopefully show you something pretty big in a little while. There's so many what ifs in fishing and, and to fish for a day and a half with several rejections to then finally hook this monster that you've only caught a brief glimpse of leaves you with all those possible scenarios that if you fish for long enough you have, you, you've lost those fish before. Now I know I've only got one shot at this fish. It's the last evening of a trip and you've got to land this one fish and I've got something that's across the other side of the canal connected to me via a couple of knots and those hooks you're just trusting that now everything holds together. Little Barra X and some super sharp KVD must add trebles. Just that slightly added gape in the hook and the design of the hook, and usually once they're in, they don't come out. And it's just rewarded me with a trophy fish, fish of a lifetime. <laughs> Quickly weighing it, we got to see that this fish is bouncing the scales at 16 kilos. The scales bottomed out at 34 pounds. Based on the length and girth measurements, Frank Prokop, a fishing biologist and Nigel's fishing partner, 
estimated the weight to be 37 pound, just five pounds off the world record. When your previous best trout, which you thought was huge then, is, is 20 pound, you, you can sit there and there's nothing that you can say. There's those, all those days and months of casting and lure fishing for big trout are all forgotten because you've got this, finally you've got this trophy in your hands and to, just to be able to get some snaps, look at it, remove a lure from its mouth, and then you start reflecting on why you've been able to do it. And so much then comes back to A, taking the challenge, going, making a trip overseas to chase fish that you've only heard about, and then trusting that you can come up with a pattern that's gonna help you catch one. And then that all the preparation comes to fruition, that you're not told that you've bought the right gear. And then finally the, the final piece of the recipe that the hook you've chosen does the job.